What's up guys, Pwn here, and today we're going to do a review on the Nerf Lightning Bow. I'm here with Summer, and when she was growing up, her neighbor Billy wouldn't let her play with his Nerf guns. Look what she's playing with now, Billy! <laughs> Enough about me. Let's get this box open. So this comes with the lightning bow blaster, four mega darts. Uh, there is a little bit of assembly required on these plastic bits that go on either side and hold the mega darts. And then of course the instructions, which are extremely necessary. I typically use the instructions in order to teach myself a little bit of French and Spanish and another language I'm not even sure of. Let's see. Uh, ne pas fissir le yon ni le visage. Ah, all right. So face is visage in French. We have all learned something. A oh, oui oui, visage. And now for a quick firing demo. So let's talk about functionality really quick. It has a great handhold. I like the way it feels, but to be honest, when I pull back on it, it just feels like the string's gonna snap. The string up here is just attached statically. So the only thing you're actually moving is the string down here. So when you draw, you're actually gonna wanna pull upward and not just straight back like a normal bow. Now what we have to compare to is the Mega Thunder Bow. What were you saying about the profile of this compared to this? Yeah, I like that the side of it just kind of goes straight down. As compared to the Thunder Bow, you have this part sticking out and it almost seems like it gets in the way, whereas this is really kind of sleek, I guess you could say, and I feel like there's nothing getting in the way here. What do you think about the handguard? I love it, protection. Gotta protect those fingers. <laughs> it sounds really you gotta protect those knuckles. <laughs> Always carry protection. <laughs> And of course there is a sight in the lightning bow. Gotta get that good aim. I already ran some tests on the Chrono. The Mega Thunder Bow gets about 70 FPS, whereas the lightning bow gets about 50, which is close to the Big Shock. About as low as you can go with the Mega Line. Pretty weak sauce. The Mega Thunder Bow also holds five rounds, as opposed to the one round in the Mega Lightning Bow. Hey Summer! Yeah? What's the best car to take to a nerf battle? I don't know, what? A Dodge Dart! Hey, Summer. Yeah? If you had your choice between these two bows, which one would you pick? You know, despite popular opinion, I'd probably go with the lightning bow. Nice. When we dropped it down to a 50-50 choice, someone actually chose the newest Nerf Blaster that's been out. Way to go, lightning bow. All right, so we talked about the functionality a little bit. We talked about the aesthetics a little bit. We talked about the FPS. There is one very important test you have to run when the toy looks like a bow. One, two, three. Stop. Don't buy the lightning bow. Shouldn't I have not eaten the berries? Don't do that either. But more importantly, don't buy the mega lightning bow. Just in time for the release of the newest Hunger Games, you too can be Katniss Everdeen. But seriously, if you want to see a movie that has a strong female lead, go watch Mad Max Fury Road or the new Star Wars. Hey, Summer. Yeah? If you're here, how come it's so rainy and cold and crappy outside? Well, the thing is, just because my name is Summer doesn't actually mean that the weather outside changes. It's two different things. Huh. No. Science. Normally, I'd throw up some ratings and let you know what the average rating on this thing is, but this thing sucks so much, I don't think I'm even going to do that. I think the target demographic for this bow is probably YouTube reviewers, because that's the only people that should be buying this. All right, Summer. Well, thanks for coming in and reviewing the blasters. Hey, my pleasure. I had a great time. It's good to have you. And remember, 
It's, it's not, not about, about having fun. fun. It's about how pretty your blaster is. And how hard you wreck your friends. <laughs>